Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, what we are going to be creating is what you see on my screen and if this is something you are interested in, all I have to say is stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so before we get started in today's design, um, what I have to say is I want to recommend Canva Pro to you and if this is something you think you actually need because if you're a freelancer and you want to move to the next step, Canva Pro is um, one of the things I think you should invest in. So to do this, there's a special link in the description box below that can help you get Canva Pro and um, actually for a cool price and if you also want to try Canva Pro for free, just the trial version of it, um, the same link can help you to try Canva Pro for 30 days for free. Okay, so um, just check the link out in the description box below and you know, try or start upgrading to Canva Pro. So without any much ado, let's dive straight into the design and let's see how to create what I showed you earlier. Alright, so you know, this is what we have, this is the original design and um, it was created in Canva and i just took out some of the elements okay in here some of the elements can be found in canva pro some can be found in the link in the description you see a link to a google drive with this particular element a lot of you kept saying you couldn't find it so before i started this tutorial i uploaded it in the google drive again and this time around it's not in any folder i just dragged and dropped it in there so that you can easily find it okay so i will just click on the plus okay for a fresh um canvas and um, the dimension is 1080 by 1350 so to get started come into photos and in photos you search for floor f l o o r okay and once you do that you should see a lot of samples on here okay so um this looks cool so we can just choose this right click set image as background oh no i don't want a tiled floor so i think i saw one okay this should work for me so replace background okay looking cool and um yeah or we can just say textured floor this has been it's been a while i actually created this so i sort of have forgotten some of the things um i i used but let's just take this one for now right click replace and um, let's just continue so press r on your keyboard if your r key is missing you can just come to text okay in text just select add a heading okay then we just increase the size of this and position it here you know in a way that will make it look interesting then you can set the color to purple okay this is one of the ways and you can just click on transparency and reduce the transparency slightly you understand so somewhere like eight or six should be okay then lock the shape so that we do not move it around the next thing we are going to do is to come into element in element you search for tip like i've already done over here and once you search you see a lot of these tips so many tips over here you understand so um what i did was i just took one of the tips and i worked with it and this is it you understand so i was trying to see if i could find the same thing but i'll just show you how i changed the color okay so i selected the tip placed it on my design okay and i came to dual tone but to go to dual tone click on edit image and you can just search for dual tone over here so duo and you should see dual tone so select it and you see so many options okay so um you can see like i said so many options so you can choose any of the options um once you click on it on the first time canva will just have to apply it and you just have to click on it again and you see these two highlights and shadows okay so the highlights are the brighter parts of you know the effects and the shadows are the darker part you know it will be applied to the darker part of it so with the highlight select it and you can select a yellow or any color at all in my case um it's yellow yes i choose the same yellow actually so you know the yellow and i will just click on apply you get it then i click on it again come into the shadows and i choose black okay so that it gets to be applied on the darker part of it then i click on apply again then click on apply again so once you do that you just have to wait for um canva to save your design before you move on so you can see we've been able to change the um the color of the sticker so sorry not the sticker but the tape the thing is you'd have to do it the exact way i did else everything would look so plain if you do not take care you understand so 
um that's what i did so you can just choose any tape at all and apply the same step you know like i did to the tape so that you can change the color and still keep the effect okay on it okay so i select my tape copy come here and paste it okay so you can see this looking beautiful and um, if just in case the tip you're using doesn't have the shadow what you can do is let's say for example this is the one you're using you can just come to edit image in edit image you just have to search for shadow not show sha shadow <laughs> and in shadow there are so many shadows over here so you can just click on um you know glow and you come in here you can adjust the size and the blurriness you know you can adjust the blurriness of it and the transparency you can also reduce it slightly you understand so that's all you need to do you understand very easy and very simple so i place it over here and i use summer okay on it so maybe the text i would want to use okay so let me just move this one up here okay but press t on the keyboard and if your t is also maybe having lunch what you can do is you can just come to text and you see add the heading okay so we can just say um zingo okay so that's i n g o or z, z i like some of you get to say so this is not what i want so i click on it and i come into my typeface um section over here and i just change it to anyone i want i can change it to poppins which is cool and i would increase the size of my zingo and i would have to rotate it a little bit so yeah so that it fits what i have okay and reduce the size more okay so we have it placed on it very beautiful and you can see what i use i use a brighter i also use the yellow on it so this is what oh okay so click on it and yeah so this is what i have at the moment but you can use any color at all you want like i have over here it's um something interesting but we'll be able to achieve that i'll show you how we'll do all of that okay so maybe let's adjust the color let's make it lighter okay something like this is okay then um add another text or you can just duplicate this text over here and change it to amsterdam 2 okay that's what you have to change it to and just to see what we did hot monday so select all of it and just say hot okay and you can duplicate it and maybe you can use any day so if you want to say friday you can do that but i'll still go with monday okay and i just select this and place it right on top and this one also comes on top so you know everything is looking very beautiful and then maybe i'll rotate this slightly and maybe this one also the same and i have it this way okay so we'll change these texts to white okay so that we can have what we have at the moment okay so now what we are going to do is duplicate the text okay and place it right on top then we come to effect and in fact you come to neon okay so in neon what we are going to do is we come to the text color and change it to a purple so we can use the same purple okay but in this case um the purple is in front okay the one with the neon effect is in front so click on it come to position and in position send it backward okay so that's what you have you would be able to see the difference soon so click on this and apply the same effect on it make sure you position it directly on top effect neon change the color to purple come to position and send it backward okay so this is easy and very beautiful understand so now we've been able to add our text the main things okay so now what i would want to say is go on to the link in the description box and try to find the gradient shadow that's how i've named it and like i was saying earlier i just um dropped it in the google drive again so that it's easier for you to find it so once you find it download it and then um, upload it onto canva and um yeah i'll be waiting for you okay all right so i will just move this one up here and this is where a lot of the magic is going to happen so right click okay and you can send it backward or you can use the shortcut you know over here so backward 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 so make sure it's not behind the shape okay so bring it just before the shape um you know should be 
your shadow so you can just rotate it and increase the size duplicate it and bring you know the darker parts out and just drag all of this parts in <clears throat> okay then you drag all of this part also out okay so we would position it here then we we'll duplicate it and rotate it this way and position it here you understand so you can see that some of these parts are just not um, working so it means that what we have to do is rather not to um, increase the size too much you, you, okay so i will just take it out and add it again okay so let me just um okay so we rotate it position it here and we rotate it position it here rotate position it you know this way just like this and make sure it's behind okay so just make sure yeah it's, it's behind and this is what we have we drag this one out okay then we will drag this part also in here like this then duplicate this one also rotate this one like this move it to the top send it to the back okay and duplicate it again rotate it send it here and send it to the back so you can see what we have been able to do okay so we would also want to see the purple part of our design a little bit so make sure you take them out okay like i'm doing so it's going to be like a vignette you get it which um we, we have other options but i think this way gives us a lot of opportunity okay <coughs> So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to search for leaves. So come into element, element search for leaves. Okay. So you would see um, so many leaves over here and um, you can choose any one at all you want. Okay. So um, just to save some time, you can just take your time and search for any leaf at all. You can use any one at all, but I want to use the same ones I use. I found this in Canva actually. So it's not like something i found outside of canva okay so i just bring it in and maybe let me just delete this for now okay so i position one here i increase the size okay increase the size and duplicate it rotate it increase the size also over here duplicate it bring it to the top rotate okay duplicate rotate move it to the you know just try to um make it look very interesting as you want okay so um let me just put it here i can increase the size also very much like this duplicate rotate move it here reduce the size drop it down over here so you know something smooth like that and we'll do the same thing over here i can come to flip and i can just flip it okay so some of them we can just come to edit image in edit image um we we'll just search for no not to search come to adjust rather and increase the blurriness of it okay yeah because some of them we will just have to make a blur and decrease this one select this you know so you can just take your time and um, also arrange it how you want to arrange it so this this is my style or this is the style i kind of like prefer you understand so you've seen how everything is going to happen and you can also add multiple leaves you understand so you can see this another type of leaf no it's actually the same thing but you can crop certain parts out and um, you know just be creative that's what i would say I increase the blurriness you know just add some depth into your design you get it so you can see how interesting this is looking so maybe this can come up a little bit yeah okay and um we select this one and reduce the size position okay so 
if if I want to go on and on, I'm not sure would end um, this tutorial at all. So maybe let me position it here. Okay, rotate it and drag it in just like that. Nice one. Then I would, you know, we have all of these text over here. So I'll show you how to do this and this. And with this, I'll just um, leave it for you to finish up. Okay, so I proceed my keyboard. We come to the text area again. And I just choose Poppins Medium. So over here, I can just say um, free drinks. Okay. So I can just say free drinks for everyone. Okay, so select all. Drag it out and we can just reduce this okay and position it over here then we come to effect and come to background so in background we would adjust this and with the spread reduce it a little bit to 34 with the roundness i don't like it too round yeah and i'll just change the color to black the text is also black so we come to the text color and change it to white or you can also change it to yellow and i reduce the size okay so fusion for everyone um and i can just say free entry and i'm just putting this text here just to occupy space not necessarily having a lot of text okay yeah so just have in mind okay or have that in mind not have in mind <laughs> all right so we just drop it down a little bit and rotate slightly okay then maybe you can let this shape come in front you understand like not the shape but you can let this leave um come in front a little bit then with this one i copy and i paste it and i just drag it down a little bit and maybe you can just also rotate it or you can leave it straight the way um it is you understand okay it looks like i'm going to spend a lot of time trying to rotate this perfectly okay look i don't think i have enough time to keep rotating but you know what i mean just try to rotate it and let it be simple then you also add some extra text if you want so duplicate it and paste it over here so maybe i move this one somewhere here duplicate it and you know have and have it here send it to the back and i'll just move this one also here and move it to the top so you can see what we have been able to create inside of Canva. But to make our design look more interesting, there's one more um, element. I I also uploaded it into Canva. I also uploaded it into the Google Drive. So you can see there's some white um, thing behind. You know, it, it looks brighter. So this is what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to select that particular element, copy it, and paste it here. Okay. So you can see we have a brighter purple in the middle but this time around um, what we are going to do is when you add it it will be black so you come to edit image in edit image come to dual tone okay and select any one at all you want so you can just duplicate not to duplicate just double click and change the color to white come to the shadows also and change the color to white okay and apply so you'd have to give it some time for the design to save and apply again okay so you can see what we have right now then we just have to send it to the back so send back 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 you see what we just did and duplicate it again i move it somewhere here and i send to the back nice one then we can reduce the transparency and um, we can also reduce the transparency of this one, but I'll reduce the size and position it here. Nice one. Then I reduce the transparency of it. Okay, it's already reduced. So you can see what we have over here. So yes, this is what I created in Canva and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sweating and I'm just so tired. My throat is aching too bad. So yeah. The name is Benjamin and this is a tutorial I'd want to recommend to you that you can you know, that can also help you to improve on your Canva skill. Don't forget, my name is Benjamin and always remember there is no limit to creativity. I will see you in my next video.